All right, here we are. I can't, man, my voice is still, I thought, I'm doing better. But more importantly is all kinds of really cool stuff coming up. Uh, making the game fun again. Make this game great again. Uh, this should be interesting. It should be very interesting. These maps will drop in ongoing event dungeons, the maps can be used to participate in limited time quests while an event dungeon is open. There's a permanent, this is a permanent feature. It will also apply to future event dungeons. So, popping in to event dungeons will give you the uh, chance of getting maps dropped at random. And then you can participate in quests when you have uh, the specific map for King Mog's Lost Map event. Wow, okay. Thought my voice was doing better than this, but not, obviously. Um, exploring the Moogle, Moogle Caves. Moogle Cave Expedition. So, three times a day, uh, the number of attempts cannot be reset using the daily refresh. Gain percentage for your Trust Master rewards by sending your units on Moogle Cave Expeditions. So, 100% success rates and a fixed duration. These expeditions can also, also cannot be accelerated. Now, the amount of Trust Master each unit receives at the time of expedition depends on their base rarity. So, you can either, for a 1 through 3 star rarity... Uh, base rarity can get 0.3% on that. So I can think of a good number of uh, people that uh, this can be useful for. TMs, this can be useful for. Ah, okay. Each, each expedition takes four hours and players can only attempt three expeditions per day. And, uh, yeah, so with the four to five star bases, you can get a 0.2% on them. So that's pretty nice. Not too shabby. It goes along with, uh, you know, TM farming. I've never macroed, never have, so just in case anybody was curious about that. Uh, I don't think my laptop would be able to handle it, and I don't even know. I have to have my laptop up all the time and blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't even, I'm sure there are macros for phones, but uh, I'm not going to bother with that. So, back to this. Trust coins. You can trade units with 100% trust mastery, including limited time units that you have obtained through rare summons for trust coins. Now, very important, before you do this, in Japan right now, uh, Pay, yeah, be, be very careful because in Japan right now, and we'll probably be getting it at some point, there will be uh, dungeons that you can only do with three star base, four star base, five star base. So don't go selling your uber good three and four star units i mean i know that sounds weird but someone such as setzer someone such as even edgar um if you have i'm trying to think if refia came in four star or five star it had to be four star i'm believing um yeah, because she would have gotten a 7 star. So, Rafia is a healer. Lena, you know, people like that. You don't want to go and sell those. Uh, so, be careful with that. So, But you can exchange these units, these 100% uh, units, and trade them in for trust coins for valuable items in the shop. Now... Right there is the rates, the trade rates. Three star base is 100 coins, four star base 200 coins, five star 500 coins. Okay, so the Prism Moogle is in there. Um, just looking at the, this 4 4 right here, the one right here, if you look very, very closely, there's a Prism Moogle. 
and that is those are empty prism moogles that you can put any uh any trust mastery into so very very nice in that regard uh it it basically what happens is uh, like the trust moogles that you get the trust mastery moogles you get from raids those uh you don't need the the character say you got a crap load of um what is it i don't know we'll, we'll just just uh, from the random summons too you can get trust master moogles so anything you get from there, whether it's Excalibur, whether it's Martial Glove, whether it's Buster Style, whether it's um, uh, Kunshira's The Nature Spellblade, anything. Anything that you've gotten a Trust Moogle on and you don't have the unit, you can still get that Trust Mastery. So very, very cool in that aspect, but be careful with trading units. Uh, now this, this is very weird and very interesting. Caution. This is awesome for everybody that does not enjoy Facebook. Uh, also, but it says caution. Players will have a single attempt to bind their FFBE accounts to their social media accounts. If players choose to unbind their accounts from their social media, they may not be able to bind their accounts again. So, Google account. Login is not supported on Amazon devices. Please write down and take a screenshot of both your player ID and inquiry ID before attempting, before any binding attempts to help with the account recovery if an issue arises. So, here's a nice long tutorial about how it goes. Um, you know... Okay, so it'll also be in the FAQ, it says right here at the blow, frequently asked questions, so I'd rather, yeah, let you read this, refer to it yourself, refer to their FAQs, and talk to them if you have any questions, but basically you've got the option to take it off of your Facebook account, or just log it, or... Um, use it as google instead or vice versa but actually not vice versa because google wasn't an option before thankfully it is now um and for anyone that's lasted this long through this or just skipped ahead a few things going on i am it's been i don't want to jinx it at all um whether i jinx it or not no big deal but I've been sitting at above 100 subscribers, so I want to do a couple things. Uh, one is a giveaway. I have a FFBE poster, mini poster, uh, about the size of a your average magazine paper or what, piece of paper, I would say. little mini poster. Um, I'll have to find a photo of it next time I talk about it or even throw it up here. But I would like to do a giveaway and... Anything else, uh, really what I'm thinking about here is if anybody has any questions for me, want to know anything about me, I don't know. If you don't, that's fine. I have no, there's, you know, it doesn't bother me. I would love to get to know you all better. Um, and if you'd like to know me better, that's perfectly fine with me as well, so... Um, but beyond that, I want to thank everyone and anyone that's ever subscribed, whether you've, uh, subscribed and stops, you know, and then unsubscribed or whatever. If you've only, if this is your first time viewing, you are all awesome and you've made this very worth it for me in so many ways. It's made me very, very happy just knowing that there are other people out there. Like, it's something out of this game, or even my videos. And in celebration of that, as you can see right in front of your face, is a giant rainbow crystal. Oh, by the way, it's about minus 30 degrees here in Chicago. So, that's, I'll tell you, uh, it's first little. Nobody's asked. And I'm not sure if I've mentioned it before, but I'm in Chicago, and it is but ugly cold today, so, 
Be careful out there, everyone. Now, rainbow. That crystal's just beautiful. That's worth just watching. Wow. Wow, wow, wowie, wowie, wow, wow, wowie, wow. Wow. Where are we with this? Okay. I mean, I'm still going to do it. <laughs> Florid hairpin or not. Well, 50% of that, that's going to be beautiful. And I am sitting way over on my max, uh, on my unit. My apologies, I'm still a little sick, as I said, so my head just went off on a tangent, and as always, thank you for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, and have a good one.